Hi everybody, Simon here from Projects in the Barn again. So this is just a uh, follow-on video from what we're doing on the T5 project. So it's just going to be a short video to show you what we're doing. The things with the T5, there's gazillions out there um, that have been done up already. Uh, people are moving on to like, the T6 and T6.1s. Um, so what I'm showing on here have been done a gazillion times before. So there's no point me repeating processes of welding and cutting in windows and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's just a quick video to show you what we're doing, where we are with it so far. So I'll spin you around, show you what we've done. I'll say this is all in preparation to get it to be our daily driver. Um, it's going for its MOT in a few days, so I've had to do a bit of work for that. But I'll just turn the camera around and show you what we've been doing. So if you remember, I'll say, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, dent puller kit I've ordered for the uh, bottom of the driver's door has arrived. Um, and that's what my plan was going to be today. Uh, however, it's a European plug. So um, I've had to order an adapter, which is a bit of a shame. So I've still yet to do the door. But if you remember from the last T5 update, uh, I'd replace the seal. So I've just painted all that back in again. So I've done a bit of body work, had a slight skimmer filler at the top of the welds, and I've just primed or rust treated it. Um, yeah, welded the whole new seal on. And then, yeah, a bit of filler, prime, paint, lacquer. And I've just sort of half sort of blended it back into um, the colour of the van. I'll say we are going to be repainting the whole van, so it's not got to be an immaculate finish. But I just want it to look a lot better than it was before. So we've done all the seal up and around the uh, rear wheel arch. So that's that bit done. Um, mainly because when we take it out on the road in a few days' time, let's say it's Friday today, it's going in for his MOT on Monday. I don't want none of the weather to get up into all the new welding work that I've done. So it was important that we got that side of it all finished. So that is that bit all done and dusted uh, to a standard where we can use it. And then today, all I've done, if I take you around the back of the van, you can see two holes. So we are putting windows in the back doors. So I've just spent the last half hour or so and get it to focus, cutting the um, holes out for the back doors. There was an old sort of stone chip that had sort of um, developed here and got a little bit worse. So I've ground that out. Uh, so we'll treat that, I'll say paint that back in again before I put in the windows. So there we go. So barn door with the windows. I've got the windows, they're over here. And there you go, still wrapped up. Uh, we got these from uh, Trade Glass UK, I think. A um, company we've bought a lot of windows from before in the past. So, um, yeah, they're going to be bonded into the back doors. And I've got two sliding windows for the middles. Obviously, one this side, one on the sliding door. Um, so yeah, they'll be going in over the next few days. So as I say, it's just a short video update as to where we are with it. And like I say, it's not turned out too bad. So I'll probably do the next one once I've done the uh, driver's door. I'll probably give you an update on that. There's a few little bits of bodywork to do on the opposite sides, lower sections. Um, but nothing like what we've had to do here. Like I say, generally it's a tidy van. Uh, but we want to get it looking at least all the same colour um, so we can use it without looking like we're going down to um, the local building store. <laughs> this is what it does at the moment. So there we go. Um, just an update on the T5. Um, if you're interested in other things other than the T5, please check out my last video i done of my Lush XK8 where we sorted out a water leak we had coming in through the uh, doors and a bit of rust around the A-pillars. So we've done that as well. So please check that out. So there we go. As I said, it's a short video um, just to show you what we're doing. And again, I think with the T5, as I already said, you don't need to follow every step. Uh, what I want to do is just give you the updates as to what we do. Maybe when we go into the interior, which is my area um, of specialization, um, we might show you some more updates or things that we actually do because we've got something planned a little bit different than the average carpeted T5. Uh, so we'll probably go into a bit more depth on that. But in terms of the body, welding, filler work, windows, it's been done before. So uh, you know, there's plenty of people out there that have uh, done that. 
So yeah, it's a short video this time, guys. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. And I hope you're enjoying everything that we're putting on the channel now, collectively, what we've got going on here at Projects in the Barn. Um, and as ever, please, if you would like to subscribe, share the, you know, spread the word and uh, let's get some more people involved in the channel. So thank you so much, everybody. I do appreciate it. Questions and comments down below if you want to. I do answer every single question that gets sent to me. Um, just keep it polite because my children also read it. Okay, thank you so much. See you later from our projects in the barn. Cheers.